So you probably wonder why I do videos of unboxings and reviews and stuff on a chair. That's because I don't have a table to work with that I can use. I got a new package today. Again, I know what this is because I ordered it yesterday and I was also advertising this on Twitter. So if you're there, you will know what this is. And this is... A new microphone. Which I needed. Because my one, which is up there somewhere, it was, uh, well that's not very good, so, this is what came for me, so, this is my new microphone, it's a Blue Yeti, now I thought about this long and hard when I was trying to find a microphone I could use, and this seemed the best option, it's pretty heavy, it's also a pretty big microphone, so, um, yes. <laughs> Really nothing to say about it. Uh, it's got... It's the White Owl Edition. It's the cheapest one you can buy because I'm really skint on money right now, but I wanted a new microphone. I'll do a, um, a comparison between this one and the old microphone um, later on in the video. Um, so it's got like different um, modes that you can have on it. So there you go. So there's, those are all the modes. You can pause and see all that. I'll put it up on screen as well um, if you want to see it. So there you go. So it's got like, it's got, like separate several modes, so inside the microphone, I'll, I'll, I'll get it out actually, so I can show you. So hopefully this is going to be better for when I do Magna Cast with Demon Flavor Lemon, uh, when I do gaming videos on Survival Live, oops, <laughs> um, when I do, uh, when I make my songs maybe, as well, so this will remove the stack noise in the background, which is a lot better. Oh, God. Okay, it's going to be difficult apparently, get it out. What she said. It's a box in a box. That's what we have here. I think I opened it upside down, so it'll be here. How do you open this? <laughs> yes, I get beaten by. Oh, it's tape. Okay, I have to untape it. The GoPro's battery is low. The GoPro's battery is low. Does that make sense? Um, if I can get into this. There we go. I'm using the wrong end of the scissors to do this, but, you know, what else are they for? Nice. Oh. Immediately I'm greeted with a cable. Okay. Ooh, man, I can see the microphone in there. So here, polystyrene is going to get absolutely everywhere. So now, we have the Yeti instruction manual. I'm trying to do this quickly before the camera dies. We have the USB instruction manual, which I'll go through eventually. We have the USB cable, which you use to connect it to the computer. So that's very nice. Oh, there you go. Okay, you can see it. And then in here, oh, we have the actual microphone itself. Uh, this is a pretty large microphone. I'm not going to lie. We have some. Silk gel as well. This microphone costs about £90. I'm trying to get it so that it's um, a little less stiff on the thing. It's kind of difficult though because. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could just say it like that. Um, oh no, there we go. That's better. I'm just being a dummy. So that's the microphone itself. It's quite large. <laughs> it's quite a large microphone. Um, I can't really get it all in shot, but there you go. So it's made by Blue, it's Blue Yeti. And it actually has three microphones in here. So in here there's like uh, three different uh, microphones pointing all different directions. This is the front of the microphone. And then basically you're talking to this. So you don't talk to it like that, you're talking to it like that. So this is the front, so you talk into it. And it also has a headphone port on the bottom. Like that, so you can use this as a sound card on your computer basically. And uh, run your headset and everything through it. So you can have your Windows sounds or whatever you use through here which is cool because then you get like no latency on your voice if you want to listen to what you're talking or what you sound like so you can adjust the headset volume and everything uh, with this switch there and then you can also mute it by just pressing that button 
Uh, so you can also adjust the gain, which is the microphone gain itself on the back, as well as your the patterns. It's very satisfying to switch that on. Nearly. Yeah, you can take the microphone off this stem as well if you want to. Um, but you can therefore plug a, another stand in there if you have one. And this is a pretty large, heavy microphone, so um, good luck finding a stand for it that doesn't cost you a million thousand pounds. Um, so yes, I say we get this thing plugged into the computer and have a bit of a test run with it. So yay! Okay, you now are, you are now listening to me through the microphone itself. It's very nice because I've plugged in my headset so now I can hear how I sound in real time. The only problem that I've found with it so far is that the buttons are a little bit tricky to operate if you're kind of far away from it, if you have to kind of stretch across. Like if I want to mute something here, then you can actually hear this very well. And I'm only like gently touching the microphone. I'm mean, not even the microphone, I'm just touching the stand. So that's the sensitivity you're really dealing with here, but if I just try and press the microphone... So, sometimes the mute button doesn't really work very well, which is a shame, but then again, it's as long as you uh, get the knack of it, I'm pretty sure you will eventually, then it gets pretty easy. Um, so yes, we can go around the back and try and mess with the different modes now, so... Oh yeah, because I'm over on this mode, so if I go around this side of the microphone, then you can only hear me in one ear. And then if I just go around this side, then hello there, and then I can go all the way around here, so now I'm in this ear, which is pretty cool. So, yes, <laughs> I just realised I look like a right ninny out of my window. Oh well. So this is how I sound, so yes, it's very nice. If I go around this side, you can hear it like this. If I just go back a bit. There we go. So now, I'm around this side. And then around this side, like this. And then... Uh, I'm having too much fun with this. Oh great, there are kids playing outside on my street. <laughs> Let's go through these, uh, these modes then. So we have... Uh, so this is uh, stereo mode, let me just go and uh, change to stereo mode. Okay, so this is stereo mode, which is basically taking in uh, audio from the left and right channels as well as the front. Uh, and it's good for vocals, an ensemble, choir, or instruments. So, like, like, I, like you've already seen, if I go around this side then you can only hear me in your left uh, audio channel, if you've got headphones on, at least, or if you've got like a good speaker set up. And then if I go around this side then you can hear me on this. Uh, thing as well, so if I go like this, and then go like, uh, so that's cool, so that's like, um, some good effects on there. So we also have a uh, cardioid mode, which I will try and switch to now. You can actually switch live, which is very nice. So this mode sounds the best, definitely, which is very nice. So you can hear, it's very crisp, which I like. There you go, my cable is like draping on my monitor, so that's what the weird noises are. So that's, that's this mode. Um, so that's cardio mode. It's good for podcasts, which is what I'm going to be using it for. Um, it's good for voiceovers, uh, vocals, and instruments, which is very good. Uh, there's omnidirectional mode, which I will switch to now. Okay, and this is omnidirectional mode, so you can probably hear a bit of an echo here because it's recording everything around me. So it doesn't really matter where I am; it's going to draw in everything. So yeah, so every everywhere around the microphone. I'm just clicking around it right now, just moving my hand around it. And you can hear everything, basically. It doesn't get cut out, none of the microphones get cancelled. Um, so that's good for conference calls, field recording, and events slash orchestras. Uh, and then the last mode that we haven't seen yet is uh, bi-directional. So let's just go and uh, get that activated. Okay, and this is bi-directional mode. Um, so this is good for... Um, basically it's going to record the front and back which is very good. So if you have one person on the front of the microphone and then another person on the back of it, um, or behind it, then you can record both people at the same time, which sounds very good. Uh, and that's good for interviews, instruments, or vocal duets. 
which is very good. So those are all the modes that it can do. At a glance, it says in the instructions. And great, the iron scrap man just went past my street. Why is everyone going down my street now while I'm recording? Why? I'm just going through the instructions to make sure there's nothing else I've missed. Uh, it's just in different languages. Okay, whatever. And the same thing. Okay, so that's basically this this new microphone. I think what I'll do now is I'll quickly run a test. So I will record both. I will record with both microphones, my old one and my new one, and then we can see how it sounds. So we'll do that now. This is the new microphone without compression or any audio editing. This is the old microphone with no compression or audio effects. This is the new mic with added compression. This is the old microphone with added compression. Okay, so as you can quite clearly see, this is definitely the stronger microphone of the two. I'll still be using the old microphone to plug into the capture card. Hopefully I'll show you why in the setup video that I'm going to do very soon. Um, but that's because it's just going to be permanently plugged into the capture card so that whenever I need to record very, very quickly, then I can just press a button and start recording and it records everything. So I'll use that, but this is going to be my main microphone for the time being, well, for, for the time being, for a while now, because it's brilliant, this thing. So I think that about wraps this video up. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.